A rodeo game is more than just eight seconds on the bull. Even with all the skills and experience in the world, at times, the animal instinct of a bull is too unpredictable for even some of the best riders. From being sent flying into the arena to broken bones and punctured lungs, anything is possible in those mere eight seconds. On average, there's one injury for every 15 rides. With a frequency like that every year, we get some intense or sick moments from the rodeo games. Today, we're going to dive into some of the most unforgettable wrecks in PBR in 2024. Before we do that, hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Strap on your boots and let's dig right in. Number 1. Dalton Castle vs Thunderbolt Dalton Castle is greatly popular in the PBR circuit and has been a devoted cowboy since his early years. He may not be the most spoken of, but that doesn't mean he isn't amongst the greats in this sport. Castle has been ranked 40th among the world's best bull riders, which is a great feat in itself. Castle has gone on to win a lot of titles in his career, but he built in such a short span of time and, with it, he sustained numerous injuries too. Even with the lacerated kidney in 2018, Dalton went on to win second place. It just goes on to show how determined and skilled he is. Unfortunately, his latest injury is one that required him to stay in bed for longer. In early May, Dalton shocked the arena after a dangerous encounter with the bull, Thunderbolt. The incident occurred in the final round of the competition. With years of experience in his career, Castle mounted the bull with nothing but confidence. However, what followed next was not anticipated. Castle was painfully bucked off the bull and had to be stretchered off the arena floor. Even though the details of the event aren't clear, this is certain that the spectators were concerned about what they saw. Gladly, it was recoverable and Castle later continued in the year's games. Number 2. Casio Diaz Casio Diaz has risen to stardom in the PBR circuit with great speed, marking his name by leading PBR in 2024. He's a Brazilian bull riding sensation who's sure to send waves in the rodeo world in the coming years. Full of promise, grit, and a keen sense of commitment, this rider seems like the next big star. He's been committed to bull riding since the age of 13 and has particularly caught the media's attention with his stellar performance in 2024. Even the injury we're about to tell you turns into an iconic incident. During the PBR World Finals Unleash the Beast, Diaz ran into some trouble in the third round. While going head-to-head -head with a bull named Norse God, the 22-year-old rider faced some brutal injuries. While riding high on Norse God, Diaz got bucked off as any rider could and then stomped on. Unfortunately, this year's fan favorite rider gave the crowd a scare by sustaining back injuries and being rushed to the hospital. Even though this sounds extremely painful and upsetting, this man of steel recovered and made one of the most iconic comebacks of the year. He was crowned the PBR World Champion and Rookie of the Year, making rodeo history and making his wreck all the more unforgettable. While some wrecks may have a happy ending, others are less fortunate. Number 3. Alex Cerqueira Another bull rider from Brazil, Cerqueira has been passionate about bull riding since the age of 14. Although he began his career at a later age, Alex believes this decision was good and he's clear about his goals in American PBR. What particularly put him in the spotlight recently was his unique bow and arrow celebration style and blue and gray chaps in the Unleash the Beast Tour in 2024. Although his wins have been slow ever since he started out in 2020, this year's rodeo showed more promising performances. It's this kind of optimism that makes a rising player become a true rider, and it was the same determination that didn't stop him after his injuries in March. Cerqueira was going up against the bull bandido bug, more determined than ever to make this year his best yet. However, within just three seconds on the bull, he was bucked right off. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. Just as Alex was leaving the frenzied state of being thrown off into the dust, Bandito Bug came at him with full charge and hit him with his horns. This force of collision pushed Alex even further against the boundaries, using the railings to get up. However, that didn't happen before the bull got in one last stomp on his legs. The audience looked on in fear as the bull came after Alex repeatedly. This was just one of those moments showing how the bull can be one mean animal. After all that intensity in the arena, 
The audience was extremely relieved to see Sakira running inside with ease and no extreme harm. Sometimes riders get wrecked even if they get to finish the ride. Let's take a look. Number 4. Kaiki Pacheco Pacheco is the 2018 PBR World Champion and a renowned rodeo rider. Becoming very successful in a short period of time, Pacheco also won the America Rodeo in 2022. Kaiki's skill in bull riding isn't just because of experience or practice, but it's also a genetic thing. Growing up around a family full of cowboys and riders, Pacheco simply followed their footsteps. With his father and uncles all being involved in rodeo, Pacheco grew up in an environment of bulls and arenas. Because of this, his ambition in the sport rose from a younger age, knowing he'd win the world championship someday. With such a short career, this rodeo rider has a lot of amazing rides, wins, and contracts under his belt that go to show how talented he is. It was this exact same talent he showcased in March 2024 when going against Blackstone. This beast was about to be tamed by one of the most skilled riders, and he absolutely did get tamed. Pacheco rode the beast for a full 8 seconds, but in this case, the wreck happened after Pacheco completed his successful ride. That's what makes this wreck so unforgettable. It's like the bull knew Kaiki was a star, but wanted to show everybody just how powerful he is. By going at him full speed as Kaiki celebrates his victory, Blackstone sure got in the last word. Thankfully, there were only some minor injuries Pacheco faced. Number 5. Tiago Salgado Salgado is another young and talented pro in the rodeo world whose performance was very commendable this year. He's a top-tier rider with an average score of 85.99. Although he isn't as well-known as many PBR legends, his performances this season can't be overlooked. He made headlines by delivering a 90-point ride on a bull named Renegade, which surged him to the top of event standings. This was among the highest scoring points at that time. What's more is that he was also ranked among the top 10 bull riders globally in the World Finals. Coming to Rodeo with a great force, Salgado can definitely make a greater name for himself in the PBR circuit in the coming years. With that said, his success this year certainly didn't come without a little bucking off at minor wrecks in the arena. For Salgado, we have two different slips this season. The first happened when riding a bull named Fierce's Dirt Nap with a bucking rate of over 70%. It seems Tiago wasn't able to go far off from the chute once it opened. Instead, he was instantly bucked off and caught up in a scary dance with the beast, getting stomped on once more. I wish we could say this was the only slip on Tiago's part in the arena, but there isn't much luck when Salgano goes up against the bull Miller Time. Perhaps this one is more scary because not only does he get tossed over in the dirt, but Miller Time makes sure to run him over a second time and push him off with his horns. Tiago rushes off to the stand and takes a while to gather his breath. When it comes to PBR, there are always countless wrecks that can never be forgotten. Each season brings a myriad of near misses and risky situations. While extremely horrible incidents don't always happen, that doesn't mean these minor injuries and close calls should be forgotten. The skill with which these riders avoid major injuries go to show that rodeo and bull riding isn't just for anyone, but needs the quick thinking and smart sense of players combined with techniques. Even then, some of the most seasoned riders can't stop fate from intertwining at times. We hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below to tell us which was your favorite, and don't forget to subscribe.